Code is a one-hour introduction to computer science for kids of all ages. Participating in the event allows kids to explore the world of programming, which is a valuable skill for anyone to have in our world today. On behalf of Women in Tech Maldives, thank you so much for volunteering to become a mentor. We picked a few games that are easy to understand for the age group that you will be mentoring. You do not need to have a background in computer science, you will only need to guide your students through simple tasks where the games will provide instructions on what they're expected to do. On the day of the event, you will demo the first three stages of your game and then let your students take it from there. Please note that you must complete the game yourself so that if any of your students struggle with the level, you would be able to guide them. If you are unsure of how to complete a level, find an issue with the game or have any other queries, please reach out to us. So let's begin with our tutorial. You can start the game by selecting your character and you'll see that the instructions for the game is highlighted at the top. Uh, you can start by letting your kids know exactly where the controls are. So you can see the steps here at the top. There are 12 levels to the game. Each stage will have instructions here at the top and that is the objective of that level. The game will be on the left side and that is where you can see the character and other objects such as uh, the first level has a chest and you can see your character and the chest. And the run button below that is where you would run your solution. You can create your solution using the blocks that are available to you in the middle section here and then your workspace is to the right. You'll be creating your solution by dragging the blocks into the workspace and when you see that highlight uh, you know that you're able to connect them together it will not work if the solution is not connected and if you need to delete a block you can just drag them back into the blocks there you can explain the very first three levels of the game and then let the kids take it from there for the very first level it says that you need supplies for the voyage ahead collect a boat from the chest this is where your character is and they need to move forward by two steps in order to reach the chest. So the when run basically means when you click run what needs to happen. So the character has to move forward two steps, so this block, this block to get to the chest. So you can put the solution in and click run. And now we've completed the first level, we can click continue. And now it says boats are easier than swimming and open water head to the end of the dock to hop aboard. So now we can see that the character is able to move forward but we also are able to turn them into uh, turn them in a direction. So we want to make the character move forward but then turn right and then move forward twice to get to the boat. So on the third level, we now have the instructions to catch this cod and it's located at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 uh, movements forward. And so we're going to put those 7 in and as the stages go, they will keep increasing in complexity. And your students will also have access to these videos that they can view that give them more information about the world of computer science. At the final level, your students can create their own game and uh, use all of the blocks that they have used so far in order to really just play around with the game and have fun. And once they're done, they can go ahead and click the I finished button. Students can personalize their certificate by putting in their name and clicking submit. They can then save their certificate and share their accomplishment. At this point, if they have more time, they can go on to the next activity, or if this is the end of their session, you can ask them if they enjoyed it, what they like best, and to share their creations with the rest of the class so that you can all take a look at the unique solutions developed by each student. Thanks again for taking time out to help students discover the magic of programming. This helps to broaden participation in the field of computer science. We hope you enjoyed the event as much as your students and we hope to see you again next year.